Okay, so um, the next practice we're going to do is called gratitude drop, and this is a practice that, um, like many social meditation techniques, it it follows a progression of instructions um, in in a kind of linear fashion where you can imagine going one, two, three, four, and so forth, like where you're moving through, you're shifting through different um, instructions. And in social meditation, we have these really, uh, we have some very basic instructions, things like there is noting, where you just say there is, and then a word or two to describe your experience. I could teach this. I taught, in fact, I did. I taught this to my son, who's I think four at the time, and he got it. I didn't have to explain it. I just said there's seeing, there's thinking, there is planning. And then he started going, there is seeing, there is loving. There is happiness. And he got it. You know, this is a really simple instruction because if you can teach it to a four year old or five year old and they get it without having to explain it in abstract terms, which they probably aren't going to follow anyway, um, it's a real simple instruction. Uh, not all instructions are that simple. Um, I think it's nice when they are, but, um, but many instructions are very, they're, they're compact and they're singular. You know, there's just one thing that we're doing. Um, but other techniques can really combine these different elements. If you imagine them like building blocks or Legos or modules that you're bringing together into something larger, it's possible to create these different forms of practice that become more complex. And that complexity for me, it opens up or it affords uh, a different way of experiencing, uh, a more multi-perspectival way of experiencing, um, a way of experiencing change through time or different options um, that are available to us as, as practitioners. And so it opens up uh, a lot while also, you know, you lo we lose something with more complexity. You know, we lose the simplicity, the, es the, uh, the essentialness of certain practices, like the practice of spontaneous thanks, you know, which the instruction is very simple. As you feel moved, you say, thank you. Thank you. Very simple. Um, but this practice, the gratitude drop, it's really, in, it, the intention is to explore gratitude in multiple ways. To experience it not just as this very simple expression of thank you, but also to experience it in its more particular nature. Like what specifically is it that we're grateful for? So in this practice, we're going to start in the first phase with the uh, social thanksgiving technique that Francis Lacoste developed, uh, which is a simple practice where you say, I'm grateful for, and then you fill in the blank with a single breath. I'm grateful for cool weather and birds chirping. I'm grateful for the opportunity to share these practices that I love. I'm grateful for your presence here and your attention. And so forth. You know, we can just share something that we're grateful for in the first phase, and we'll take turns doing that. In the second phase, we'll shift to just saying thank you as you feel moved. So the drop part of the gratitude drop is we're going to, as we move through this progressive sequence of instructions, uh, moving from the first to the second phase, we're going to drop the content. We're going to make it shorter, more simple, more general. Uh, and we're going to drop the order. So in the first phase, we're going to take turns. In the second phase, we're going to all come back to together in a, in a larger group. Um, where in the first phase, we'll be in small groups taking turns. In the second phase, we'll be all together. And just dropping the order, letting it arise as you feel moved. Just thank you. In whatever language you feel moved. Um, and then in the third phase, we're going to drop the words. We're going to drop the form altogether of the words and just experience this formless gratitude, this, um, this ongoing background radiation of gratitude that we develop in the first two phase in the silent space of the third phase of silence itself. And so the gratitude drop is a dropping of form. The through line is gratitude, but the form drops and we can experience gratitude in multiple forms, and we can see 
the movement of formal gratitude to formless gratitude. And that's an important movement in the contemplative meditative um, path. It's, it's in a way the natural movement of the practice. I also wanted to mention there's another way that these building blocks can be, um, can be brought together, which I, I'm still struggling to find language around this, but I think maybe one of the best ways of talking about it is um, it's a multivariant form of practice where there are different variables that you can pick from or select from or choose from. Um, the essence noting practice that we did is a good example of this. And it was the first multivariant social meditation technique that I learned where, where there are three basic instructions and you can pick from any of those three, those different variables as you, as you like, it's your choice. Um, so in that practice, you have the just note listening is the first variant. You can pick that listening. Second variant would be to note positive mind states. So you could use any note to describe a positive mind state. And then the third variant is when an unpleasant state arises, you can note releasing or allowing. It's a binary note, releasing or allowing with the unpleasant. Um, and you can already hear in those instructions, that's pretty compl complex. Like you've got to know what mind states are and whether it's a positive mind state and a pleasant mind state. And then there's a lot of picking. So there's more complexity in a practice like that. But it's the complexity isn't something that unfolds sequentially over time or progressively. It's a complexity that's all there at once. So sometimes I think of this as like A, B, C versus one, two, three, you know, the multivariant versus the progressive um, practices. And then you can actually combine those further, like progressive um, uh, release essence noting, where you're bringing the essence noting through a progressive release sequence. And, and I'd say that's about as complex as I like to get because <laughs> you have to know the building blocks to, uh, to, in order to do these more complex practices. There's more of a, a scaffolding into the practice that's required. And thus it's not as accessible to folks that are new, except that you could, you could witness the practice, of course. You could just witness. So I wanted to cover there just these different, com the complex forms of practice, and then introduce this progressive instruction of gratitude drop. And I'll just, as a reminder, the first phase of the practice, we're gonna do social thanksgiving, and small groups of three people each will say, I'm grateful for when it's your turn, and then with a single breath, describing what it is that you're grateful for. You could also say, I'm grateful for the opportunity to pass if, you, um, if you'd like. Uh, and then we'll come back in the second phase. Each phase will be about five minutes each. Uh, come back in the second phase and we'll drop that longer sentence stem. And just as you feel moved, you can say thank you in whatever language is close to your heart. And in the third phase, you'll hear me ring the bell uh, for the final five minutes. We'll drop the words and just sit uh, or stand or whatever position your posture you're in, in silence. 